Yesterday, we brought you the story of Donald Trump serving fast food for the second time when a championship winning team visited the White House. This time around, there was no government shutdown. The chefs were no longer furloughed. Trump just treated these athletes like <laughs> similar to how he treats his employees. Yet there was a shining star amongst the crowd. While most did the song and dance around the idiot in chief, laughing at his melancholy filled off script dejected humor like this one. We're very excited to welcome to the White House the North Dakota State University Bison. And that's with a Z, you know, I spell <laughs> I always Congratulations on winning this incredible season. It's really a season. You had great games, but this is a season. One man stood out, not because he is an offensive lineman, not just because of his six foot five, 286 pound frame, not because he made the Missouri Valley Football Conference honor roll three times. It was because of selfies posted to his Twitter where his bio reads, this snowflake is an avalanche. Support the homies. Many picked up on Jack Albrecht's pin, a small Democratic Socialist of America pin affixed to the lapel of his jacket. The pin features a red rose above a black hand and a white hand shaking. The Red River Valley Democratic Socialist of America's Facebook page reposted Jack Albrecht's Twitter photos, writing, Trump, socialism will never happen. Rep Kelly Armstrong, socialism is never North Dakota. Trump hates socialism. Here in the United States, we are alarmed by the new calls to adopt socialism. Tonight, we renew our resolve that America will never be a socialist country. Even though Venezuela, one of the richest countries in the world, name one country that socialism has ever worked. So every Denmark, Finland, Netherlands, Norway, and this may shock you, but we have socialism here in the States. Let's find out. Sweden has one of the world's highest tax burdens, with tax revenue about 43% of GDP, according to OECD data. The equivalent figure for the US is about 26%, much, much, much lower. Sweden's economy has grown almost twice as fast as America's. The Washington Post wrote Albrecht's goal wasn't to steal his teammates' as thunder, as the Bison celebrated their football championship subdivision title. Rather, he wanted to make a quiet statement. Zach Ecola, treasurer of the Red River Valley chapter of the DSA, said in a telephone interview. Albrecht did not respond to interview requests. We had an opportunity, Ecola said. We had a football player and he wanted to quietly protest and wear a pin. We gave him one. We didn't want to take away from that celebration. With any other president, we probably would still have done the pin thing, but I don't know if it would have caused as much of a ruckus. It's not the first silent protest to hit the White House. We previously reported the story of Craig Hodges, former member of the 90s Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls, wearing a dashiki and handwriting a letter. This letter is not begging for anything, but 300 years of free slave labor that has left the African American community destroyed. It is time for a comprehensive plan for change. Hopefully this letter will help become a boost in the unification of inner city youth and these issues will be brought to the forefront of the domestic agenda. The First Amendment states Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Jack Albrecht exercised that right and served Donald Trump.